after many computer problems, uh, I've been able to download uh, Bootstrap Studio again. So this is a, a one on about contact forms. Okay, so here on the left hand side, there's something called PHP contact form dark. Okay, um, I don't have, I can't install this because I don't have an up to date license with it because it's a newer thing. However, if you go to uh, the website that's uh, said there, you can go to this, okay? I'll just get rid of a few of these things here at the top. Um, okay, so this is a website called bootstrapyours.com um, and for people like me who haven't been able to uh, install the version from Bootstrap Studio, you can just go here, it's exactly the same form uh, apart from it being a light version so anyway you just download the files there's a demo there as well but I've already downloaded these files okay so the here on my desktop and also another thing that I've downloaded is something called you want I usually use WAMP for um, my local server but this with the computer not having a great net connection is much smaller and I've been using this which is going to come in handy uh, for the PHP uh, side of this video anyway so I just um, there's the uh, the form files there so I just drag them into uh, bootstrap studio okay so there we have this and we've got something called index one HTML which is the uh, bootstrap US thing so that is uh, it looks really quite smart um, there's, with Bootstrap Studio at the moment or certainly on my version there's no PHP allowed into this uh, so that may be something that we'll think about later anyway so what we've got here is a non-working form and it, it is something that this video is quite actually difficult uh, certainly if you're beginning it is quite a difficult thing to, to do but anyway we're just going to change when this thing actually works oh dear honestly <laughs> um, sometimes with bootstrap studio I just get so frustrated with it, with it. it seems to vanish everything anyway a background colour okay you can have your dark version okay um like that um or you can have whatever you want i like this color and it's something i've used on my web personal website lots of times which is 888 okay so i'm just going to use that as the uh as the color so basically when this opens up you're going to get something like that okay However, this is never going to work um, because even if you fill all the fields in, this is never going to work because it just has no, no way of work. It's just an invalid thing. Okay, It, it doesn't do anything. Um, so what you need is PHP. Now, this is where the difficulties arise. It would be great if you could just do everything in HTML and CSS. And there is a way of doing forms in HTML. Um, but it triggers uh, an email client and people get frustrated by that and also it's not secure so the way to do it is php so we could uh, just really you could just export this now as uh browse and just put it on the desktop and just call that select that and export that okay you can save your design so anyway, you're just going to have to use an editor on this a little bit. Um, I've also gone into my, um, just give me a second, and it's already on a, on the server. And this is something that that I would um, always, uh, I always have problems with when people say it's exactly the same, a local server to a, a one on the online. It's not. It just isn't it's as simple as that because if you look at this this is a and i'll tell you what we'll do we just go and we're going to put this sorry about this faffing on here but um if you put http okay 
localhost localhost and contact form php okay see there's all the the um errors or so they say okay but that's just it, 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 there isn't any errors it's although or there might be very very slight ones but uh, when it's on when it's online it's totally different okay so basically in an editor this is what you this is the forms okay and the ones that you need to look at is html index and contact.php okay so i'm going to i'll show you how this works okay so if you look at this your action here is contact about dot php so that actually is telling the php to come into the equation if you like so all all the form is done on with html and css but the contact php is this one here and this has all the coding for that okay now you're probably asking is even if uh even if the form works where do i send it to because it's not what you want is obviously if you're going to like sort of interact with your um, the people who are going to your website, you want some way of like sending them to an email address. So what you do here, if you get this PHP form, if you want to look at this particular form, okay. So on here it's line 30 and it's got mail and it's got send to. So what you're going to do there, right? is you're going to do speech marks okay now whatever your address is you put that in there okay where you want this form sending you put that in mine is the nb man okay at hotmail.co.uk and then you save that okay so for time uh allowances and stuff like that of what i've done is I'll put this um, as a test on uh, on my personal website okay so if we just go to NB designs and uh, what I've done there is I've, as like I've said in a lot of videos to you guys is get FileZilla as your FTP client um, and so what you do here is my contact forms and I just put it into into there okay and anybody that wants to know how to use FileZilla, just ask anybody that wants any more information on this particular form. Um, just ask. Again, you can use any color. And, and other things that you can do with this is just go, you know, to tie in, for example, with your the rest of your website. You just put navbar, anything you want there, just so it goes with the rest of your design. And of course, you would take the contact form tutorial um, out of that equation there, you know. So it's if if you're here, okay. Right. So here is this. This is a demo dedicated to blah blah blah. Um, just a minute. Oh. Tom's right about these uh, scroll bars you can use anyway. So um, this is a demo bootstrap. Just get rid of that and the rest of this line. Okay, and you put in whatever you want. Um, again, bootstrapless.com. I just apply that and and there you go. Contact form from Bootstrapless. Just take that away, take this bottom bit away as well. So anyway, so while it's online now, um, so NB Designs, so what the what the uh, uh, full address will be now is contact form, okay, contact dash form slash index dot html, okay, right. So we've got this now here. Um, I think that might be... And did I just put dash one on here? No, I didn't. Anyway, um, I don't know what I did there. Well, so you just uh, you see this form, okay? Um, and you put that. You 
Bruce Duran and your email, blah de blah, okay, and um, your phone number. All right, that's this is just in say hi, hi, hello there. You send your message, contact successfully submitted. Thank you, I will get back to you, okay. So just go to me, um, my Outlook, okay, and watch this not work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, it's gonna work. Come on, so slow, isn't it? So slow, this. Oh, come on, there we are. Okay, so now that's worked, it's demo contact form, and it's just gone in the junk mail, that's all. So, yeah, Nigel Brewster, da 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 da, and that's how you do it. And, um, you know, you can colour it however you want, but that is the way to do a working form with Bootstrap Studio. It's not easy. You want to come back and ask questions, that's fine. Um, that's what I'm here for. So, anyway, so I hope, uh, hope you've learned something. Uh, sometimes you have to just go into these. Uh, you've got to make mistakes before you can, you know, it's, it is it is all about mistakes, but the key to this one is find in your editor Make sure you've got to, I always say, learn HTML. You've got to do it, really, because you, you, you can learn about Stop Studio and all the rest of it, but there's always things that you need to know um, by coding. You can learn HTML in two weeks, easy enough, and be really good at it. So there you go. So you'd mail whatever your uh, email address is. So anyway, so thanks for watching.